Hi, it's Passion Week Day 2, and today we're talking about being hungry. And actually, why are we talking about being hungry? Most of us are sitting around at home. I mean, like all of us, like this is one of the first times ever that we're probably all at home and we're hovering around in the kitchen, peering into the refrigerator, trying to find something to satisfy the boredom. (laughs) So why are we talking about being hungry? Nobody's hungry. Well, maybe, maybe somebody is hungry. And Lord, if there is someone hungry in our life that we could reach and we could touch, please, please direct us to them. But for the most part, most of us are not hungry. We, we have more than enough to eat. And we have more than enough to sort of sedate that feeling of hunger and keep it quiet. But since we're talking about Passion Week, which if you missed uh, yesterday's post, just go back and take a look. The first day of Passion Week, I talked a little bit about what Passion Week is. So if you want to jump back and find that, that would be great. And I shared a song um, that really talked about the importance of crying out to God and lifting him up. And uh, we're going to do a little more of that today. But I want to talk about being hungry because in reality, It's something that we need to allow in our life. Yesterday we talked about, I talked about surrender, sacrifice, being willing to allow that into our lives. Well, we truly need to allow hunger. We need to allow ourselves to be hungry. But what am I talking about? Well, again, I want to turn our thoughts, and I've got my Bible laying here on my keyboard momentarily. And um, my bookmark fell out. Um, I want us to go back again to Psalms 107. There's so many, so many wonderful, beautiful words in this psalm. And in verse 9, it says, For he satisfies the longing soul, and the hungry soul he fills with good things. And verse 13 says, they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death. And he burst their bonds apart. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love. Now that hits a little too close to home, that word shadow of death in the environment that we're living in. Every day we are turning on the television at some point probably and we're watching the news and we're hearing death tolls. And that is so discouraging. But the scripture says they cried out and God burst the bonds. What more magnificent occurrence could we expect this week? than for God to burst those bonds of death and of the hunger in our souls. Because for so many of us, we have been longing for way too long. We have been longing for something we did not even know what it actually tasted like. But we have been so hungry. And everything that we have put into our life, that we've taken in, that we've received, that we've searched out, we found that it was just not what we were looking for. And I'm not saying that you all feel that way. I'm saying that I bet you have felt that way. And the reason why I'm so assured of that is because I know that everything that you might pursue after, everything that I might pursue after, that is in this life, in this world, it will only leave us hungry. The only true satisfaction for our hearts and our souls 
and our minds, and for that matter, our stomachs, is what God gave us. We can fill ourselves up with processed foods and our stomach might not growl, but we won't be satisfied. But if we fill our hearts, excuse me, our tummies up with fresh food, uh, alive food, then we will be nurtured in the depths of our body. And the same is true for our heart. And if we will fill our heart up with alive food, not anything that this world has processed, not anything that we have thought would fill us up, because our thoughts are not God's thoughts. The scripture says his ways are higher than our ways, and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So anything that we would fill ourselves up with that's not him, it will leave us longing. It will leave us hungry. It will leave us afraid, very scared, very troubled, very unsettled, and very alone. And we do not, any of us, want to stay in that place. So today, Passion Week, Day two, I want to share a song. The title of it is Hungry. And if any of these words touch your heart, you can find this song in its original form on YouTube. Catherine Scott was the original artist. And I just want to sing this and pray as I sing that your heart will be drawn to the throne of God and that in your heart, You will do as this chorus says, I'm falling on my knees. Fall down in your heart and worship the Lord. Because this is the week that we lift him up for the purpose of drawing nearer to him and also for the purpose of the salvation of our nation. And we can expect beautiful things. Hungry, I come to you, for I know you satisfy. I am empty, but I know your love does not run dry. Oh 
filling our lives, for filling our hearts with hope, for answering our prayers, for being our friend. Amen.